the top five self-directed IRA tips that will make you rich. That's today's show. Let's dive into it. Here we are at our very first rental property. Hey everyone, I am Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor. And on this channel, we teach people how to get rich without having to quit their day job, unless of course they want to. I retired at 40 years old from my day job thanks to passive cash flow from real estate investing. And I built this channel to help you do the very same thing. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification dingus down there, so you'll be notified when we publish a brand new video. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite topics, the self-directed IRA. Now, if you, if, you, if you think it out properly, the self-directed IRA investments can maximize a retirement fund as well as provide the opportunity to become very wealthy. This is where seeking out the best self-directed IRA tips comes into play. Now, your retirement fund's growth potential can become virtually unlimited when you use certain investment strategies. So with this in mind, we've compiled a list of five top IRA tips that can help you gain financial independence and allow you to fully enjoy those retirement years. So what is a self-directed IRA? Let's start there first before we jump into our helpful tips. We thought a self-directed IRA definition was in order for those of you who are new to this game. Self-directed IRAs, otherwise known as SIDRAs, allow for more control over a retirement funds buy and sell decision. So for instance, when utilizing a traditional IRA, you know, typical investments might include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, CDs, and the like. And as a result, an investor's funds may be at the mercy of a volatile stock market. So in contrast, investors who want more control and direct access to their IRAs may invest in alternative assets. Investors still must follow certain self-directed IRA rules, but for the most part, they have more freedom to invest as they see fit. Okay, number one, start your self-directed uh, individual retirement account early if you can. Now, if you currently do not hold a self-directed IRA, we suggest that you start investing in one as soon as possible. This self-directed IRA tip is valuable when it comes to securing a comfortable nest egg that you can depend on later in life. And it's really common for younger, younger individuals that are in their 20s and 30s to not realize the importance of investing in their future. They think they're kind of invincible. And as they approach the age of retirement, then they regret not starting their retirement investment plan earlier in life. By then, unfortunately, it might be too late. So one of the top advantages of starting your self-directed account early, you get that compound interest. Because you're investing in a self-directed IRA early in life, it'll also help you reap the full benefits of that compound interest. This essentially allows you to earn interest on interest you have already earned. To explain it a little further, it's when an investment earns a return, and then these interest earnings are automatically reinvested, and they start growing the fund on its own. This coupled with the fact that self-directed IRAs are tax deferred, it's gonna allow your funds to grow more rapidly over time. All right, tax breaks. Starting early will also allow for significant tax breaks each year that your self-directed IRA is in place. So for instance, you can deduct your self-directed IRA contributions from your taxable income. This will lessen your tax burden and therefore allow you to save a considerable amount of money over the years. If you need advice on how to lower your tax burden, I highly recommend Tom Wheelwright. He handles all of our personal taxes over at WealthAbility. He's also the tax advisor to many world-renowned real estate investors. Or you can obtain expert tax advice right from his book. It's called Tax-Free Wealth. We'll have a link below. Self-directed IRA tips such as this one can be simple to implement and it's gonna yield a significant result. Starting early can also mean the difference between working a part-time job in your retirement years, like at Walmart, or retiring comfortably. Number two on my list, choose a self-directed IRA custodian carefully. Selecting a capable and trustworthy self-directed IRA custodian is essential when it comes to properly growing your retirement funds. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that term, a custodian simply holds the self-directed IRA assets as well as buys or sells investments on behalf of the client. Experienced custodians are capable of dealing with the complexity of a self-directed IRA. So they're gonna be aware of wise investment choices and those prohibited transactions that we'll, talk, we'll touch on. Many new investors assume that a Fidelity or Vanguard self-directed IRA will be the best route to take. After all, they're reputable companies, right? However, they do not offer truly self-directed IRAs. They mostly deal in investments such as stocks, bonds, and the like. 
Therefore, companies such as these typically do not allow IRA investments such as real estate and other alternative assets. Get some insight as to why a ma majority of these financial advisors don't talk about self-directed IRAs. I mean, it's true. And when you think about it, ask your Fidelity custodian. Talk to them about this. Say, will you allow me to invest in real estate? They'll get back on the phone with you and likely say something like, sure, you could invest in a REIT, an R-E-I-T, a real estate investment trust, but that's not real real estate. You are removed from the asset and they're effectively lying to you telling you that you can invest in real estate stocks, not actual real estate. So be very careful that they'll try to keep you in that nest and not allow you to fully go out into the world and self-direct on your own. Very, very important. At our company, Morris Invest, we are able to set up a self-directed account in just a few minutes. So if you're interested in working with one of our custodians that we've vetted personally, call us right now. Go to morrisinvest.com and set up a time to talk with us and we'll walk you through that entire process. Because you know, it's incredibly important on different levels of expertise, making sure that the company that you're working with as a custodian actually holds and protects your account, not just an administrator or facilitator. You know, Ask for an overview of the, their latest self-directed IRA tax rules, if any. This is gonna allow you to see if they are up to date with the pertinent tax laws. Inquire about the types of assets that they hold, as well as the number of clients they're currently serving. This is gonna give you a general idea if the company is limited as to what they can be able to handle or if they offer a full scope of self-directed IRA services. So you, know, you can conduct your research using the Better Business Bureau as well as reviews to check their track record. But again, you can book a call with our team and we will take care of you on the self-directed IRA setup front. Number three, diversify with lucrative self-directed IRA investment assets. So asset diversification is one of the most popular reasons that many investors prefer to self-direct their IRA. Being able to invest in more than just stocks, bonds, mutual funds, CDs, it opens up an opportunity to use your special interests and expertise to maximize your retirement funds. So in addition to this, when you utilize other investment avenues, you can protect your retirement funds from the ups and downs of the crazy stock market. So I want you to avoid a stock market downturn by diversifying inside of a self-directed account. You can keep your funds locked up in an account that is at the mercy of a stock market. It's unpredictable, right? We know it's an unpredictable investment strategy. There's a great possibility that you could lose a quarter, half, or almost all of your savings if that market crashes. This has happened before and it can happen again. You don't have to put all of your eggs in one basket. You can diversify with a self-directed IRA to keep your retirement funds safe from the volatile stock market. Another point is allowable self-directive IRA alternative investments for diversification. So diversifying by investing in allowable alternative assets is a self-directed IRA tip that can certainly make you rich. Additionally, it's going to allow you to deal with investments that you have knowledge of. For instance, if you're a rental property investor like I am and you're wondering, can I buy real estate with my IRA? The answer, of course, is yes, just as long as it's self-directed. Land purchases are also allowable if they meet certain criteria. Cryptocurrencies and other digital money, as well as precious metals, gold, silver, and the like, are also included in the list of allowable self-directed IRA investments. It's a mouthful. So as you can see, this opens up a world of opportunities for you. The IRS states that collectibles, life insurance, and self-benefiting items, such as a personal property that you plan to live in, are not allowable investments, okay? Those are prohibited. However, there is much that you can invest in. So here's a list of the most popular alternative investment opportunities. Real estate, raw land, oil and gas, precious metals, digital currencies, LLC membership, promissory notes, startup businesses, tax liens. All right, number four on my list, Acquire financially out of reach assets with co-investing. Now co-investing is one of the more creative self-directed IRA tips that allows for investing in assets that you might not have the funds to invest in yourself. This comes in handy with more expensive assets such as real estate. So you may co-invest your self-directed retirement account funds with another self-directed retirement account. This can include uh, self-directed retirement accounts that belong to your, your, other, your spouse, your family members, as well as your partnering IRAs. You can up, open up various investment opportunities that can build great wealth partnering these accounts. Co-investing with your family members is a really powerful tool. 
Although you may co-invest with your spouse and other family members, each lineal descendant is a disqualified person when it comes to buying, selling, or lending to or from them. However, however, you can proceed to do business and co-invest with these individuals if you're dealing with a third party. For example, a husband and wife can co-invest their self-directed IRAs to pool enough funds to invest in rental property that they are purchasing from an unrelated property owner. So if you're thinking of co-investing with someone to purchase a rental property, we, re we highly recommend that ensuring that the deal will be profitable by simply running through the numbers. And you can check that out at Deal Checks, which is a property analyzing software. We have uh, the link below to that. You can also partner with your own IRA. Now, if you have multiple IRA accounts, you may co-invest with yourself. When doing so, you must avoid self-dealing situations. So this is when an investor receives personal gains from the retirement fund transactions. When this occurs, the investor may receive penalties as well as owe some taxes. So self-dealing examples include personally residing in a house that you bought with your self-directed IRA. Don't do that. Buying digital currencies from yourself. Don't do that taking a salary from your self-directed account, don't do that, and so on. So if you'd like to co-invest with yourself, speak with your custodian to obtain a list of self-dealings that you want to avoid. You can also co-invest through an LLC. Sometimes co-investing through an LLC just makes sense. So investing through an LLC means that the IRA owns the LLC and the LLC would then have ownership of the investment. This is especially beneficial when using your self-directed IRA to invest in rental property. So when utilizing your LLC, the tenant pays their rent into one of the payment LLCs. So in contrast, if the LLC did not exist, the tenants would need to pay each co-investor's IRA separately. That'd be a pain. In this case, forming an LLC is a much more efficient way of doing business. And when you form that LLC, it's best to seek the advice of someone who has experience setting up corporate structures. And we recommend contacting the folks over at corporatedirect.com. You'll save a hundred bucks if you mention that we sent you. Number five, consider a backdoor Roth IRA contribution. Before we dive into the backdoor Roth IRA, let's talk about what the basics of a self-directed Roth IRA entails. In general, it's a retirement account that differs from a conventional IRA in that you can't write it off or take advantage of tax deductions from your contributions. But at the same time, your earnings are tax-free with a self-directed Roth IRA, even when you withdraw them during your retirement years. Now, this is an exceptionally smart investment strategy because tax rates may go up by the time you retire. The bottom line is that a self-directed Roth IRA allows you to withdraw your savings without owing taxes. So what is a backdoor Roth IRA contribution? Well, although a self-directed Roth IRA sounds like a perfect investment strategy, there is a significant issue. The IRS has set certain restrictions on who can contribute to a Roth IRA. Plus, they've also set limits on how much money you may add to your account. So for 2019, single individuals with an adjusted gross income of 137,000 or higher, as well as individuals who are married filing jointly with an income of 203 may not open a Roth IRA. Additionally, those who are allowed can only contribute 6,000 per year or 7,000 if they're over the age of 50. Now to get around these restrictions, the backdoor Roth IRA comes into play. It's a solution or a legal way for higher income earners to open and contribute to a Roth IRA. It also allows for surpassing those contribution limits. The basics of how to set up a self-directed Roth IRA entails placing money in a traditional IRA or self-directed account. The account is then rolled over into a self-directed Roth IRA. You have to pay taxes after you convert it to a Roth account, but it's a one-time deal. I did this. In sum, this is one of the clever, most smartest legal ways of doing this in order to bypass these rules and go through the back door. So if you convert a certain IRA to a Roth, you're going to be expected to report it to the IRS using the backdoor Roth IRA form 8606. So make sure you follow the letter of the law. All right, that was a lot to digest. I want you to utilize these self-directed IRA tips to become rich and enjoy your retirement. If you're new here to the channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We've got hundreds of videos here to help you build wealth, to get started with real estate investing. And if you would like help setting up your self-directed account and start investing in real estate today with brand new construction properties, give us a call. 
You can book a call right there on your screen just by going to morrisinvest.com. The link is below and we'll jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes and help you get set up. All right, everyone, until next time, go out there and take action, become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.